Okay, this is day one. So we are hitting it with 30 seconds on with a 10 second rest. There are seven exercises and you're gonna try to do this five times. Now, if you don't get five times through, don't worry about it. All I want you to do is your best. Even if you can't use weight or you can't jump as high as you used to or you're just starting out, I don't care. I just want you to give it a go. I just want you to try as hard as you can for as long as you can. I've made the first one really short, so it's only 30 seconds. So hopefully everybody's just taking part there. You're gonna at least get through one round and you're gonna feel that accomplishment of getting through that first round. And if you've still got some energy right the way through the first one, try for two rounds and then try for three. And if you can do all five, even if you have to stop, be proud of yourself. For those of you that train with me a lot, five rounds, all out. I wanna see some hardcore, I wanna see some action, and I wanna see some effort. So get your, get your music on, get in that zone, get yourself ready, mentally prepare yourself to push as hard as you can, and you don't stop until that beat goes. Got it? Are you ready? You know how we roll. This is not voiceover anymore. I'm gonna be pushing you through real time. Are you ready? So. Get your timers. I've got mine set. We're starting with box jumps. If you don't have a box, you're gonna do these on the floor. Ready? Put the timer somewhere where I can see you. <laughs> Steady. Okay, 10 seconds. So if you don't have a box, you're gonna use a mat. You're gonna do it on the floor. Three, two, one. So, slight bend in the knee. You're gonna jump over. Breathe. Center your body line. Abs are in. Jump from the bottom, slight bend in the elbows, push, breathe. The reason I'm using a box is it makes it more intense. It makes it harder, it makes you push harder, it makes you jump higher. You can't fail every time, you've got to get over that box. Keep pushing, four, three, two, last one, well done. Okay, step up with an elbow to knee. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So you're going to step up, touch your elbow, get down. Step up, elbow, get down. Now, I want you to twist your body. Really engage your abs. Lift. Push. Try and get some weight involved. This shouldn't be easy. Step up. Three, two, Last one. Well done. Okay. We're going to leap forward and back. You can do this on the floor, just stay in a low leap, and you can jump forward and back if you wish. I want you to hold onto the box, and I want you to leap forward and back. Get down. You feel this inner thighs, outer thighs, quads, glutes, everywhere. Keep going, push. Try and get to the back of the box, to the front of the box. This looks easy. It's not. It will kill everywhere, believe me. Okay, step up again. Other leg, are you ready? Should be feeling slightly out of breath because you're using big muscles. Make sure foot stays on the board. Breathe, push it in. Abs, breathe, balance, core. Get some weight involved. I've got 10 pounds. I could go a little bit heavier, but I wanna make sure my form is spot on. Make sure, head's high, shoulders are back. Five seconds, come on, push. Time, well done. Okay, let's get some abs involved. We're gonna do runners or mountain climbs. I'm gonna use my ball. Let's go. Now, what I want you to do is really pull with the toes and then speed it up. Once you get there, get some speed involved. 14 seconds. Breathe, abs in, head high, really get that core engaged, reach, four seconds, come on. Three, two, last one. Awesome job. See, I'm out of breath. These look easy, but they're not, because you're using big muscles. 
Okay, let's get some abs involved. So, one leg out, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Now I'm using a big weight to push myself. Bring it in, 14 seconds. Really stretch out, all in. Try and keep your body straight. Four, three, two. That's tough with a heavy weight, it's really tough. So pick your weight, give it a go before you start. Three, two, one, let's go. Other leg, other leg, in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Uh. Tuck it in. Now, if the weight starts to get heavy, that's okay, you can drop it, or you can just take it out just to halfway. Tuck it in. When you come in, I want you to constantly knit your abs together and really tuck it in. Six seconds. Five, uh, four, three, two, last one. You're done. There are your exercises. What I want you to do is I want you to smash those out five times through. Write down how many you do of each one and then try and beat yourself. Every single round, try and go one more. Let me know how you did. Let me know how many um, you got through. Did you do one? Did you do two? Did you do six? Did you go a bit harder? Let me know, post your scores, and I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> What was your favourite one? Honestly, the step up. Because it's so dynamic and like, I felt it everywhere. Legs, arms, abs. I like the full body moves, but I, I really enjoy using my legs quite a lot because it pushes me, makes me out of breath a lot quicker because of big muscle groups. So that was my favourite one. The floor one is very easy if you use a light weight. But if you use a heavier weight, when you actually concertina together, you can really feel it on your abs. So try and go a little bit harder with that. <laughs>